Scott, please say and spell your name. Scott Repsland, S-C-O-T, one T, R-E-F for Frank, S for Sam, L-A-N-D. And your title? I'm executive producer and the chairman of the Drone Sports Association. All right, we'll start with saying this. Six months ago, I did not know this sport existed. I have a men's talk radio show. Uh, Steve lives in my town. Somebody told me, I didn't even know, that he was involved in this. And then I just like, whoa. Because I am in technology, as you can see in media. So I got really interested very quickly. Yep. What do we have going on today? So uh, welcome to New York. Live from New York, we have the uh, 2016 National Drone Racing Championships. So what's On ESPN, presented by GoPro. Oh, it is on ESPN. It is on ESPN3. Fantastic. So we have sponsors, we have major media. You know, I heard you warming up the pilots before and saying, look at the backdrop. And, and let's do that. Let's look at the backdrop behind us. Greatest city in the world that happens to be the financial center. That is. What are we hoping for here collectively? All of us, really. Yeah. So this year, what we're looking for is uh, we're basically building the business of the sport for this year. So last year, because it was a nascent sport, uh, not too many people knew about it. We didn't have any metrics. We didn't have anything. It was still community and it was still, and it still very is community. So what we've done is we've re-invited the community from last year that we built. And now we're saying, okay, let's put some financial underpinnings to it. Let's actually put some industry, let's put some metrics, let's put some marketing. Let's make this a real sport. And so when ESPN really uh, put their hat in the ring, that's where we cross the line from an amateur into professional sport because now we had, we, uh, we're in the broadcast world. So the broadcast world needs to be underpinned literally by a financial infrastructure of sponsors so that we really are creating that fans, brands, teams, and leagues and players. Now, unlike football, where you have human beings, and you have human pilots here, don't get me wrong, but the, you know, the, you're know, you looking at the drone. The drone is small. It almost seems like it is very fit for broadcast because of that, and high-speed cameras and things like Correct. that, and possibly virtual reality, which I don't tell you I know about yet, yep. but let's yep. forecast, you know, three to five years from now. Yep, yep. So, a lot of, uh, so I've spent probably maybe at least two or three dozen uh, meetings that I would go to anywhere from an investor to an uh, interested party or a stakeholder and I'd say, have you ever flown drone FPV drone racing before? And they're like, no. So I would pull out an entire set of mini racers in a boardroom, put all the board members on goggles and fly them around. Wow. And that's when they went, oh my gosh, I get it. We get it, yeah. And so, because then you get what every human being has is the dream of flight. And so uh, the dream of flight is means that you can fly free, you can fly as a superhero with superhero powers. And that's why it's so uh, sticky and addictive with the drone racing is because you are piloting the, as if you were in the drone. So you get all the feeling of going fast, you get close proximity, you get, oh my God, I'm gonna crash. You get all of that feeling. But then when you crash, you're like, oh, well, no, here I am. So from a live spectator's uh, point of view, like this weekend, what will a live spectator, what will they experience? Well, first of all, it's not just the drone racing. You're making a community of, of vendors, of, right. of food, and yeah, right. I see that. Yeah, we've, we've been um, approaching, we were very selective on all of our partners um, because we call them partners, because they're big financial underpinnings like AIG. Uh, AIG is a thought partner, and it takes all of that kind of stuff to really make that. And so the idea is that what we've been working, working together is just that how do you take this into a bigger sport and make it a spectator friendly? So at the moment, all the drone racing that I've seen so far has literally been about the pilot. It's all about the pilot, it's all about the, the race. This one is all about the spectator. This one is literally designed to be spectator friendly. So for example, we have jumbotrons everywhere. We have big screens with leaderboards everywhere. We've made all the pilots have very specific color schemes so that you recognize them. Uh, you know, whenever you go to any football team or uh, football game or sure. basketball game, you always know what Kobe Bryant looks like because he's the same uniform all the time. His number's the same. You've got, you know, Earnhardt. You know exactly what they look like. And so we're just borrowing all of that um, that works in spectators and giving you something familiar. And then we're going to give you something that's going to make you sit up and share. Oh, my God. They're 3D. We're in, we're in up in the air. Um, 30 feet, 50 feet. Be because it's an FPV sport and the technology is there and I understand they're going HD with these goggles very soon, do we foresee a time where we're not even on this field and we're racing in a virtual way as yes. well? Yes. So the second piece that's uh, that's really interesting about this is that a tent right next to AIG is EMC. Now, if you know who EMC is, but EMC, uh, in this case, it's their uh, uh, code division, which is called uh, it's their open source division. But 
EMC does all of the data back in cloud for Fortune 500. They do the Isle of Man, they do the Lotus F1 team. So they take all that big telemetry data and the man machine, um, it's the technology that comes off of that, and they massage it and, and push it into visualization. So when I met Josh from EMC, I'm like, Josh, you got a bunch of data crunching. I got racing. What can we do together? And that was a match made in heaven. It's a match made now in we heaven. got that. So now where that's all happening is now we're we're partnering with people like Ericsson and Verizon and ATT and a, a bunch of other partners. So that now we're talking about 5G networks, which is gigaband <clears throat> networking systems on uh, on LTE. And now we're going to be pushing 4K virtual reality over live stream. Now, in the AIG tent, we actually have a full three virtual reality setups that you can actually go and experience. This course, all in complete virtual reality. You walk around it, and then you take your goggles off, and you're like, oh my god, I actually stood right underneath that that uh, that structure, the, the stereo bus structure. Very, very cool. Very exciting. The future looks bright for this sport. I appreciate your time. I took you three minutes more than I wanted to away from your lunch. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.